Hi guys and welcome back. I'm glad if you tuned in for the first time. This is going to be the hair tutorial section. This is Reborn 102 and this section we're going to talk about rooting hair, what type of hair you could and should use, what to use as a beginner, and all that kind of good stuff. But for this first video we're going to kind of just hang out. I have Paris Renee here. She is the Ashton Drake doll from, well, she's the doll from Ashton Drake. And uh, um, the doll's name on there is Paris. Um, I see a lot of people are kind of like displaying her. So I'm going to get her into something summerish while I talk. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. So we definitely have our baby in a resting stage. She has all her painted loves protected by a sleeper. I took these socks off and said I was going to leave them on, but we'll put them back on. But she has her paint protected by a sleeper. Her eyes are in. And right now, she's in what I call the resting stage. And it doesn't exactly matter how long you let her rest. You want to bang her out and get her, get her hair, get, the, get your baby's hair down really quick. That's perfectly fine. But I like to take my time. Um, and definitely while I'm doing a tutorial because it's a very important step um, you need to there is two types of hair uh, there is mohair there's human hair there's three types of hair actually because you can count synthetic hair but when you use synthetic hair you need to be truth and advertisement that's gonna come later on and let your buyer know hey this isn't human hair I'll be sitting up here trying to do all the things you can do when you use human hair instead of um, instead of um, synthetic hair. Synthetic hair cannot tolerate a lot of heat and synthetic hair has a odd feel to it. Now there is some really great synthetic hair and if you're trying to portray a coarse type of hair, hair texture, uh, synthetic hair may be your way to go. So don't we can't count it out we just wouldn't want to use it on our high-end babies but um when you're doing rooting hair it's the first thing you have to do is choose which hair there's mohair mohair is literally made from 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 sheep from lambs they are they shave it and then they make the hair i don't have the sample close enough to stop what i'm doing but I will definitely have it on the next video. Upsides for mohair is it's super duper soft. And if you love super duper soft hair, you're going to definitely love working with mohair. Um, and it comes in different colors. You can dye it, of course, different colors as well. Uh, there's a chance, though, if you don't know what you're doing with the dye, I'd leave it alone. We're going to put her in this cute little shirt that says, Adorable Me. Um, but yeah, if you don't really know what you're doing, you don't want to play around with dyes because if the person wash is a person that like to play in hair and wash hair and stuff, they're going to end up, um, messing up their doll because the dye is going to run onto the doll or there's the risk that it's going to run onto the doll or what have you. With human hair, you, uh, just like you would take care of your own hair, of course, because that's what it is differences you're not saving follicles and stuff like that so you definitely have to make sure you're taking really good care of it it will dry out just like human hair does and i will tell you some of the chemicals you can use to avoid that because when it dries out that kind of sucks and it also um when you're rooting any kind of hair period you have to understand we're going to work on mapping we're going to work on what they mean when they say directional rooting and we're going to work on thickness of thickness thickness blah 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 amount of hair we use and why we use the amount of hair we use and truth and advertisement what to tell your buyer so she has on her little shirt now i have a I have this cute little skirt but to be honest with you it's, it's just a little thing in the front and a little fluff fluff in the back. 
I really believe it was actually technically supposed to be a part of a swimsuit. It came with a big pile of clothes that I want to auction on. Never put anyone in it, but I figured it would look really cute with this shirt. So we'll give it a go. If we don't like it, we can always change it out. But we'll definitely, I'll show you examples of um, mohair, human hair. And then um, I don't technically have any synthetic hair unless the Ashton Drake doll's hair is synthetic. And I don't think the baby's one, the baby is the two little ones that I have. I think there is actually a type of mohair. But I do believe that Jacob's hair is so we can definitely use his hair but if you hang out with me we'll work talk about prices etc etc you get what you pay for and how to try to glue it in look at this isn't that cute that's adorable okay Ansley we're gonna um not Ansley oh goodness I worked with Ansley yesterday so <laughs> she's still on my mind but we're going to actually take and spray her hair because it's fitting for this video and definitely this time this go around rather we're not going to be on cam long we're just going to hit on point and i'll definitely be actively working while i'm talking so that it is a productive video as well and we'll talk about what knives to use not knives i'm sorry what um <laughs> rooting tools to use etc etc so we do have a lot to cover and we definitely will get that covered. Um, I do believe they have a type of bow hair. So I can use the little spray. Definitely don't want to get heavy handed with it. Because it is expensive. And it's not something you can go grab at a store anyway. Because yeah. It's definitely not. You know something they sell. They don't sell mohair conditioner at a store. So of course you can comb right through it. She has the most beautiful hair beautiful small beautiful baby all together but yeah it's we're going to be making our doll get making her come to life we're also are going to i chose not to draw her um draw her eyebrows we're definitely going to root everything on her so she's going to be a little challenge but not exactly I wish I had a green ribbon that would have been really cute. Of course, I do not because that's my life. And guys, I have four containers of bowls, but again, I'm not going to pause the video. So we're going to use this ribbon right here. And we are going to make a little bow on top of her head instead of the little clouds. That's what I'm feeling today. And there we go. And boom. We have little Miss Paris Brennan done. She got her little bow on her head. So I do have two of the girls dressed for summer. I do have a lot of more kids to go. A few. One went home. Little KC has actually is actually en route to go home. And then we have the twins are slotted to go home uh, next weekend not this weekend coming up but the following weekend and the we still have the three that are on eBay and we definitely want to get our new baby on eBay um, her name has been adjusted to autumn just because <laughs> alright so she has went to summer to autumn so you prefer one over the other for the new doll that we're working on as you're looking at her face definitely you can throw that in the comment and we can maybe we'll make it a decision to be made and it'll come in handy when you get ready to put to quote unquote sell her to have a name you want to give her personality we're gonna make her girly girl um so i do have a lot of stuff already for her but we definitely will talk about shopping where to shop for your dolls and for your personal collection and for your um to to try to sell them so but that's going to be reborn 103 reborn 102 is definitely going to be on the hair and then we will definitely talk on some key factors don't forget the big final exam 
at the end of all three sessions and it's still the, the main prize is definitely going to be a miniature reborn kit um, it's not going to be expensive, but it, it will definitely give you a jump start if you if this is something you actually want to get into. I am going to do a quiz before Saturday, and the first 10 people that get the quiz right, it will definitely be stuff on Reborn 101, so it'll be about painting and stuff. And the first 10 people will get a small prize. It's not going to be that much, but it'll just be something, a little, what I call, gimme gift from me to you. Okay, I'm looking forward to to hearing from you and seeing what you learn or if you learn. And, of course, you, the answers have to actually be right <laughs> to get the gimme gift. But, y'all, look, we can start communications and stuff then. Also, guys, before we go on this video, because we definitely don't need to make it too much more longer but um if you are interested in autumn or aka summer whichever one you want to name her um definitely hit me up on here before i put her on ebay because i would rather do a private op do a private sell um we can use still use ebay but i would definitely give you a discount so if you put send me a message on the ebay page when she's up which will be probably in the next couple of weeks maybe not this week maybe the end of next week um definitely tell tell me hey i watched all the videos and i want her and i'll give you a discount because you watched her actually be reborn so that's something to look forward to as well and guys, I hope you are having a great weekend. A little quick, quick, quick catch up. I did have part one of a three part series with the hospital as far as my back. It was very successful. I was able to do what I needed to do for at least between six to nine hours, like pain free, probably the first six. And then as it was inching up, but bearable for the next three. So that's some up news and that's why I'm kind of like trying to get this part done hopefully before the second part of this procedure goes on and just to, that catch up so if, if I miss a couple of days that's what's going on with me so look forward to the quiz before the weekend is out uh, like I said first 10 people that actually take it and get it right will definitely have what I call a gimme gift I hope they'll be fun <laughs> Just it, it, and then we'll do the same thing with Reborn 102 and then Reborn 103 and then we will definitely have the big final exam and the first person to answer correctly and make a great grade on it whoever like the highest grade or the first highest grade will win win or receive the Reborn starter kit Alright guys, y'all have a great rest of your day and thank you for hanging out with me a little while. Bye. Tell them bye, Ted. Bye. Whee!